Hello, welcome back. Dele here with the cleaning group. Laminate flooring is a staple in many homes. It's inexpensive, stands up to a higher degree of wear and tear, and in many cases can be installed by homeowners themselves. It's also actually much easier to clean than other types of flooring, with one exception. Water and laminate are sworn enemies. While hardwood floors are made from natural wood cuts, laminate flooring is made of compressed particle board or wood fibers, which is why it's less expensive. It's a mixture of wood products that are compressed into a hard surface and covered with a layer of clear resin to create a finished look. When water soaks through the top layer, it can destroy the fiber layer by turning it into a mushy, warped mess. Eventually, boards will begin to buckle and split, which is why it's important to know how to properly clean your laminate floor and how often. Broom or vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. Laminate floor cleaner. Dry mop or a cloth. Step one, remove dust and debris. This step is essential because every day your floor gathers dirt, crumbs, pet hair, and other undesired particles. If this is not cleaned, you're simply removing the dirt rather than removing it. You can do this step in one of two ways. Use some good old fashioned elbow grease to sweep the area you're planning to clean or use a vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. It's not recommended to use a carpet vacuum head on hardwoods or laminates as the beater bar can sometimes damage flooring. Step two, spot clean visibly dirty areas. If there's a spot that needs obvious attention, clean it before moving on to the next step. For a tough stain, like candle wax, a stain that set, or a nest spill, treat it using methods specific to the stain. If the stain is easier to tackle, use laminate cleaner and a clean, dry microfiber cloth to remove it. Using a small amount of cleaner, work in circular motion until the stain has been lifted. For extra safety, spray directly onto the cloth instead of the stain to minimize your flooring's exposure to moisture. Step 3. Clean the entire floor. Now that your mayor's stains are taken care of, you're ready to go on with the full floor. The easiest way to clean your floors is by using a spray bottle of a laminate cleaner and a dry mop or Swiffer with a wet pad attachment. A dry mop means that you're not repeatedly dunking your mop head into a bucket of water. Instead, the only liquid you'll be working with is the cleaning solution itself. Use the spray feature on the bottle of the laminate cleaner or add cleaner into a spray bottle and spray just enough to lightly coat the floors, but not enough to soak them. Remember to use as little of the solution as possible. Once you've sprayed a section of the floor, use the mop or Swiffer to carefully spread the solution over the floor as you lift any dirt and grime off from the floor. Step four, drying the floor. After you've cleaned the floor, watch it carefully to make sure it's completely dry. If you see a spot that's taking a bit too long to dry, use a dry mop or a clean dry cloth to soak up excess water. To extra air dry, turn on your heater, a dehumidifier, or a fan. As you clean, take care to use a conservative amount of water and thoroughly dry your floor. If you don't want to buy a laminate cleaner, you can make a DIY version. Stir a teaspoon of clear dish soap into a gallon of hot water. Transfer the solution to an empty spray bottle. 
Then follow steps 1, 2, 3, and 4 as mentioned before on this video. Floors are one of the quickest places in the house to fill up with dirt and crumbs. Daily sweeping and spot cleaning can help keep your laminate floors free of particles that could cause scratches and scuffs. Consider deep cleaning your laminate floors every two weeks to disinfect, protect, and shine. As it has been well established, staying away from too much water is key. Another high priority consideration is making sure that the cleaner you select is appropriate for laminate. Not all cleaners work. Oil-based cleaners will leave streaks that may be impossible to remove. And you should never wax or polish laminate. Those cloud the top layer of the laminate and cause floors to lose the shine you work so hard to achieve. For more tips and cleaning motivation, Follow us on social media and visit our website. If you enjoy watching this video, consider subscribing for more and turn on your notifications bell. Until next time, thank you for watching.